municipal side on the east half of our company. So Mike, Mike wants to <laughs> steal Mike, what's some your thunder? last name here? Uh, Furch. Okay. Furch. You're based out of where? I'll be based out of uh, Washington. Okay. Yeah. So I'm, I'm behind the scenes helping Jim to make sure he's got all, all the resources that you folks need to get things done that he has to get done for you. Okay. So Good. That's one of the, one of the roles I have. So. Okay. And I've been working with municipalities since 1984, so I've seen a few things happen. So. Good. Good. <laughs> Good. <laughs> you haven't met Horse yet. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking forward to looking forward to that whole challenge. <laughs> Careful what you ask for. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Careful what you wish for. Yeah. Yeah. We'll be implementing Mike along with me on some of these <coughs> projects for, you know, coordinating with the with the city just to get another person involved in it, uh, with the city of Fargo, rural water, and those type those type of projects. So in their case, there's a meeting where we're double booked or something. I can't be there. Mike will be there. And vice versa. You might be sitting in a seat every so often too. I can't be here. So don't be surprised if you don't see him here every so often. So then we're going to try to bring him to the CIP meeting just because. He's got a Perfect. experience with capital improvement plans. So. With that being said, we will get through the projects here. Um, I added a couple smaller type projects onto the status report. Um, if you have any specific questions, questions, then certainly stop me and let me know. Um, we went through all the estimates through the consent agenda. We're to the point now of trying to close out and finalize some of some of these projects and get them get them wrapped up for at least the year, if not for, for good. So um, the Lost River, we met with the contractor last week. That one's been going on forever a day. I think we're at a point now where we can finally agree to what is done and, and final that one out. So I anticipate finally that one out here pretty soon. Uh, the Deer Creek one, where we're still working on some of that final paper paperwork. So it's essentially approval. It's, it's getting some of the, the AIS, the uh, American Iron and steel requirement certifications and, and that type of stuff. To make sure all the payrolls are correct and getting it all put in a format that is good for good for you. And then closing okay. out some work orders from the contractor. Okay. Water meter replacement. As soon as our accountant gets back, she's going to send the final bill. But that'll be in this week, provided that bill gets sent. Then we're done with that one. <coughs> the stormwater management policy. I don't know if Keith Brenton is is going to try to tackle that this. Winter? That is a winter project with okay. Keith and uh, so the inspections and we might drag Barrett in with public works a little bit. Sure. So yeah. But um, that's Very that's crazy. something that needs to be done. <laughs> um, two thousand eight, uh, this hundredth Avenue sanitary sewer, we talked about that in the CWSRF. We <laughs> did that one in March. The developer of Maple Lake Estates wants to keep moving on with that project, so this is in correspondence with that. They'll go together, with two projects have been together. Um, services 64th Avenue, this is the horseshoe bed, I should put that in the, in the uh, description there, but the plan is to bid that one February, constructed this summer, might end up being no more of a March, February, March, but that's what we're shooting for. Um, 8th Avenue, we need to talk about that. I've got it on my list for, for our meeting, our CIP meeting. Mm -hmm. Getting that thing going again is important. Yep. Keeping that yeah. moving. Maple, that project is suspended for the year. And really, all they got left to do is Dave's got a black bird in his backyard. <laughs> Getting that finished off and seated. Uh, Northwood, Southwood, that one um, just need to get the final <coughs> initiation and acceptance in the affidavit of contractor. Park and Rec, that one's on hold obviously because of the winter. We did, I did submit the TA grant on behalf of the city last Wednesday to MetroCog. That is for phase two of County Road 17. That's from 81st, the <coughs> north part of 81st up to 76th Avenue. That'll go through their ranking process and it has to be to the Department of Transportation by the end of the month. And then we hear something in probably February or, or that time frame on that. Uh, Terra Gardens, oops, I got this one. Let's, don't worry about that approving the semi final. That I gotta get that to you. That'll be next meeting. <coughs> There's a meeting, I don't know if you, I don't know if you've, I don't think you've been invited to this one yet, Brian. There's a meeting on December 13th with AE2S about some of the water characteristics in the area. They're doing some work with Fargo and infrastructure on it. I'll forward to the invite. Okay, um, yep. It'll be, the, the location was to be determined, I'm assuming right, 
I don't still know. Still to be determined. It's still to be determined, but I'll still. So it's still like a regional. Once it, it, it is, yeah, they're they're trying to get some of the characteristics of forest to implement into their modeling for the South Metro area. Okay. And um, yeah, so okay. Okay. When they so have we'll the know, details, I'll let you know. Okay. We'll know more of the of some of these items on here after that meeting. Okay. Wall Avenue, the boring was done. I don't have results yet. I believe we'll get them back this week, or early next week is kind of what their proposal indicated. Then we'll know what kind of soils we're dealing with. But that's another one for CIP, figure out how we go forward with that. Right. Mm -hmm. When we go forward with that. Um, Lakeview Drive, you know, it's 39% complete. The underground is 95% complete. We did meet with the school, like they said, to try to work on phasing and constructing the concrete street <laughs> portion of that to get access to the high school. There's really no way of getting around that the high school being built in the middle of the field. Mm -hmm. And it's being built before the streets are. So we're working with the contractor to try to not mess up their operations to set them behind, yet still meet our July 11th completion date. So. Uh, 76 and roundabout, 94% complete. We approved that, that estimate. Uh, just some miscellaneous stuff remaining, some seating, some permanent striping, etc. So there's just a tiny bit of the work to be done in the street. Yep, yep, okay. yep. Final lift of asphalt on Russ's driveway and street lights. And yeah, street and lights. And a first lift where they tore it up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, 63rd Street, that one has been suspended for winter. Indications are that that's where the contractors like to start next year is on 63rd Street. That's the north-south road on the east side of the school. It's the best ground. It was the driest when they constructed it. Further west you got, got a lot of sand and silt and moisture in there. So they think they're going to have to do a little work with that over the winter. And once it goes through a freeze thaw, there might be some work that has to be done in that. Uh, like I said, the water tower will be more after next Friday's meeting. Vistos, 67% complete. They really knocked that one out. There's access to the first block of that. You can see that. Um, There's actually a building area going up. There is. Yeah. Uh, Cup Creek, Lomar Fill is complete. And uh, that is suspended and 72% complete. The Lomar is, is complete. So Maple Lakes, we talked about that. We're looking at a March 2020 bid opening on that one. Uh, the city, Adam told me today, he finally got the pigs to, for, to pig out the force main. So we were going to clean the force main from Chestnut to the school. It's a three inch sanitary sewer force main. And for some reason, the pumps are operating out of their pump curve where they operate efficiently. They are out of that. So we think there's some blockage in there. So Adam got his pigs and now we're going to pick that line. It's not a terribly long distance. It's basically just from the corner of Ironwood and Chestnut up to the school. So it's not a real long distance, but we'll get that done now. But he got those. Overlay Prairie View is complete, third and fourth. Most of it's complete, just some seating and some grading work remains. Southdale Farms, we talked about that. <coughs> Lost River, fifth. I haven't really talked about that in, you know, in a while. It's going to pick up, I believe. It's, it'll be picking up. So you'll be seeing Lost River, fifth. Um, what, what's what's the the permit? I don't know. It's a core of engineers water. permit for working with the uh, for working within the uh, so that, that was that so permit was required to be able to continue it, working in that. Yep. The, the, the South progress Southeast Cass required that. Yep. The, the progress, progress again? Southeast Cass water resource oh, right. district is the one that pushed that to say, hey, get that done. The progress of Lost Earth Fifth Edition was basically frozen until they had their four hundred eight permit issues resolved. And those have been resolved is what our understanding. Uh, so now they're trying to move forward in order to position themselves to have the project happen come this next spring. Okay. Okay. Uh, 81st Street improvements, that's what the school talked about on the south side there. I had a proof engineering agreement on here, but that project after having a pre-application meeting with the Diocese Land Lakeview, the, the <coughs> scope's going to change on that, so I, I have to revise that before I bring that back to you guys. Uh, Lakeview First Edition, that's the diocese, 150 acres east of Casey's, north of Wall Avenue. We had a pre-application meeting on November 26th. One of the items that came up was, again, location of the sanitary sewer. The developer, the way I understand it right now, is doing the design of the subdivision themselves. But there is an overall city component to a regional lift station. 
that section already has two lift stations in it. It's probably going to have a third. It doesn't need a fourth or a fifth. So um, what I'm asking is it's not going to take a lot of time, just some authorization from the board to, to go ahead and look at that, be at high level, just to kind of give them an idea of where to get their sewer to. We have gravity sewer along the west side of that property, and we need to take that as far as we can and then look at doing a lift station for what could be Cub Creek 2. So south of original Cub Creek, north of 80, 80 Eighth or wall to get that whole to finish off that area with nothing else to get that done. So um, they are pushing, like most developers do, to get that constructed as quickly as possible. So they've been questioning me to get any information I can. But it's them. tough so, for us to do that without having a preliminary plat. Laid we out. do have a preliminary plat from them. Okay, it's it's very preliminary. It just went through the pre-application. It just got put before us and Barrett. But, and, but it's hard to do that without knowing what they're planning to do with it. So now that we have that, yes. I mean, we can proceed with it, that Yeah, design. exactly. And that's where we can see how far we can get the gravity up. And then we can see where we can take and turn it and go the opposite way with it downhill. So um, just your blessing to kind of work with them on getting that. I didn't want to start putting time on anything like that and tell me. Yeah, well, yeah. If, we could, if we can avoid uh, having four or five loops. Well, exactly. Yeah, that's, uh, well, that, that's that's part of the regional design, yeah. right? That's yeah. just no different than no we're different talking about South Southdale yeah. Farms trying to yeah. design it so that we can minimize the number of loops. The, the difference is that, that the developer Southdale wants the city to do the design and the construction of it, whereas Lakeview, they want to do the design right. themselves. So that's the difference. Otherwise, we just lump it all in there. But there are enough regional components to that to that um, area where it'd be beneficial for the city engineers to have a say in that versus just having them, here's what we're gonna do. Um, so so yeah. do we need to, do we need to provide you him want? any authorization or? I, I, sure I, wouldn't, I wouldn't, what do you think? I think just a- Just a general up. consensus of a, of a yes. Uh, yeah. I, I don't think you need to do a motion okay. on that. Yeah, no. To me, if there's any if there's any regional component to any development independent of whether we're doing sure. it or they're doing it, yep. we need to inject ourselves yeah. into that process. So that yep. we can we need to do we it early do. on. That's what kind of bit us in a couple of these is that they've right. come mm -hmm. at the last minute. Well, here it is. And then, well, I guess yeah. I guess so, this this comes into a little bit of the site planning right there. So I'm I'm thinking does this fall you know a little bit under your jurisdiction to say direct Jim to do the right work to give you the answers that you need on that whole view development, right? Sure, yeah. <clears throat> we, we're, we're planning a, another meeting here, yeah. probably <laughs> this week, to kind of get there. Is this is first week today? Yeah, second Last week. week. One second week, yeah. So he's just getting his feet on the ground with all this <coughs> stuff, too. Hey, everyone jumps in on their full feet, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Without a life preserver. Right. Without a life preserver. <laughs> that's a deep pool. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so. So yeah, that's that's fine. I just wanted to be okay. aware of it. Yeah. No, I it out there. It absolutely is the right thing to do to, to think about this and come up with a better design. Yep, that whole area because it's going to absolutely explode this next year. I think so. Uh, Gabe knows we'll talk about that on, on yeah. when we have our meeting. It's mm -hmm. just something that's been kicked. The, the can's been kicked down the road for four years. So we just need to, we need to, to do stop. It. it needs to get done. We need yep. to stop kicking that can. Yep. Down the road and Brent and I have been talking stuff, with, right? with Public Works about um, ways of getting the older horse proper water system upgraded <coughs> and taking care of this and the you know the reliability and the operability and the gate belts all in one one shot. So we've been discussing that. And then the last thing I got is chestnut. We need to figure out what we're gonna do with chestnut. So are we on this or like on roast in our area? No. You are not officially on the list, Sherry, because we sent out in uh, solicitations, basically asking what your thoughts were on connecting to a municipal sewer, and a lot of them were 50-50. And at that time, there were quite a few um, no's, and, that, and the council didn't want to pursue it if it was a firm no. But as I'm hearing from you, your neighbors, and some yeah. other people, it's gaining more well, traction. So yeah. that is something that is also on my tentative agenda for okay. discussions with Oh, our, if, you, if you feel that the situation has changed and more the residents are in favor of it, then essentially a petition or getting 
something together do it. from the residents saying that you want this in writing. That oh, in writing, in writing. Oh, yep. Do it in writing. So, yeah. so if, if you right. could circulate yes. a petition of your neighbors, neighbors, and say, hey, we want this, and we okay. get a majority of your residents, your, your neighbors that want it, okay. then it'll absolutely show up on this list. Oh, okay. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. so I like that. We didn't know we've been calling. Yeah. So no, absolutely, no. It, it, it really boils down to the development. And if, if you're if there's general support for it, then we can actually start the project, get the engineering design, okay. get information back to you, and then we can. Because we can use the now is the time yeah. to start that design process. So just all of our homes on the road, Commonwealth 17, all my neighbors. There's like a class. You can do Let's one see. petition if you want, okay. can't you? And everybody yeah. sign it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can, yeah just do one petition so and have everyone sign it. Just you would like the city of Horse to provide municipal sanitary sewer. Okay. And you can put in there that your septic tanks are failing. And okay. But what that would do is it would set it up to where it's a request for a special site. It would be a petition for improvements. Well, would first we like could have uh, like vet it and yeah. come up with some costs and alternatives, yeah. and then we could take it to the next level after yeah. that. <coughs> you are on island. Thank you, Jim. Yep. Anything else, Jim, or you got all this? I'm good. The voice is intact. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Brent, you're up. Okay. One is uh, as part of our Partners in Marketing Grant. Uh, just a heads up, you'll probably within the next six months, you'll, I'm guessing it'll be late winter, early spring, you're going to probably see some marketing of horse. Uh, like I said, that's part of our Partners in Marketing grant that we got from this from the State Department of Commerce. Um, you may see on a billboard, uh, I think we're looking at the Fargo Inc. magazine, and then also like an advertisement at the airport, or something, you know, where they have different advertisements throughout there. So if you're at the airport, Dave, Brian, you guys frequent there, so you may see a horse ad. In the, nice. In the, like I said, it'll probably be late winter, early spring is when we're looking at that. Um, also, uh, I was just going to point out or bring up, uh, we're informed from MetroCog uh, that horse next year will have the vice chair seat and 2021 the chair seat. So Dave will... Stealing my thunder. Yeah. <laughs> I gotta do that every once in a while. <laughs> awesome. But he'll he'll be drinking through fire holes pretty quickly. So yeah. That's all I have there. But yeah. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> so I didn't warn you that much. I should just stamp it on my forehead. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for volunteering. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I don't think I want to understand that. <laughs> <laughs> that changed the whole perspective. <laughs> All right, portfolio reports. Uh, <coughs> I was going to try and make that ND, min, or ND uh, Department of Transportation meeting here last Wednesday or whatever, but I got way late at work. But I did talk to this fellow, um, and then he did send me up the uh, PDF file that they kind of went through. It was actually a lot of that North Dakota moves, and then what they what was that thing we did that one time this year? That was moves. moves, right? That was yeah. moves, yeah. yeah they, they, they kind of went over that. A Almost half of that meeting was involved in that, and then they kind of drifted a little bit into some other areas. But because um, apparently they got a lot of positive feedback from the other communities yes. that set up their North Dakota moves before the rules <coughs> changed, yep. so that was a bit of frustration. Yeah, us and rugby kind of got in, did that a little later, and had went through the same frustration factor. So anyway, um, I did tell them I wanted to be at the next go around, so they're going to try. And, they are planning to do another one this spring. I'll be able to try and. Hopefully, have some things cleared out so I can make that one. That's all I had. Uh, Dave, what do you got? Um, well, I just wanted to, you saw a new face here at the table. So, Barry, you want to introduce yourself as our new client that started two weeks uh, just before Thanksgiving. So. Yeah, yeah, I'm on week two. Uh, if uh, you didn't hear Claire Floyd, I, uh, I'm now taking over Matt's role as community development director. And then uh, prior to this position, I was working at the county as the county planner. Um, I was working a couple of years as an assistant planner for the city of Fargo. And then uh, prior to that, I was a transportation planner for NRDC of Minnesota. So uh, quite a bit of experience and uh, in uh, different realms of planning and uh, a 
uh, hopefully that experience will bring value to the city of Horace and uh, I'm really excited to be here and sounds like you guys got some really interesting things going on and uh, I'm looking forward to helping. Welcome to the team. Yeah. Well, welcome to the city. He's our yeah. renaissance zone guru, so. Yeah. <laughs> winter project. Yeah. Yep. We got a lot. Of, we, we keep saying that. We got a winter project. <laughs> project. <laughs> we got another winter <laughs> project. <laughs> so, Brent did steal my thunder. Yeah. I did attend the first MetroCog meeting uh, last week or the week before. Last I got the email that said oh, you're next up on the list for <laughs> vice chair and chairman. So. Baptism by fire. <laughs> yeah, right? pretty much. So, <clears> so, it was very interesting. I'm looking forward to it, actually. And Dave and I will be meeting up with uh, the director of Metrocog tomorrow, I believe. Is that what we did? Yeah. I better get so on the to <laughs> help introduce the fire hose to him of all the different Metrocog things. So, mm -hmm. perfect. That's a good thing. Uh, is there anything else? No, that's it. Good. All right. Chelsea, what do you got? Mm, nothing. Okay. Mm -hmm. Come on, you get to think about your holiday event. Winter event. <laughs> Yep, same update as last time. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, it's, we're excited about it. Shelby's doing a lot of work, so I gotta figure out where else I should uh, get my hands dirty, so. I think it'll turn out good. There's a lot of, there's a lot of interest. I've heard some talking around town about people wanting to go into this thing, so I'm um, looking forward to it, too. I think it'll be good. Yeah. Okay. And that's on the 14th and where? Senior Center. Okay. The 13th is when Santa will be there, so. Scheduling conference. We're starting to have scheduling conference. That's a good problem. <laughs> we squeezed him in. He's yeah, okay. yeah. Santa's here. So. You no, know, we worked around Santa for sure. Yeah. Otherwise, he gets grumpy and then all things go bad. <laughs> <laughs> all right. All right so, uh, I didn't make any progress in the last two weeks uh, on the CAP CIP. Uh, did a little quick once review on that, so we're going to have to meet this week, so that's good. We'll get that scheduled. And uh, obviously, I was going to point out that we need to get some activity going on the rate rate analysis work for the next month. So I'll work with Brenton to schedule some series of meetings, whether we do that internally or how we want to proceed with that. So I'll work with Brent to get that get that moving along. Perfect. So rate study is something that's really important. We got to yep. before the goal was to balance the budget, balance the budgets, or get a, more close to where we thought they were balanced. Well, we found out that we were. Not still not <coughs> close to being balanced, but we have more data to show that we're not balanced. Right. So uh, more analysis. We've, we've more analysis, but mm -hmm. we're we, we got to do some projections. Baby steps. Where we're going to go. Baby steps. Yes. And that's we're going to take it to public. Is, so yeah. Public step. Yep. That's so right. that's it. Anything else, guys? Otherwise, I want to entertain a motion to adjourn. So moved. Second. Second. We're done. Thank you. Yes, I am. Um, Are you? Uh, uh, tell my, 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 my wife is getting unhappy. You back with... Where is the guy?